Hi friends, we have already seen how we have developed our uh, connector or uh, our SQLite connector where in the part one of this we have browse and connect means how the we connect to a existing database. We have studied that I am doing the same thing now connecting to a database. So this displays me the tables all the three tables whatever is there. So uh, this is we have discussed in the part one. And we have seen this that query window was disabled when there was no connection. And in the part two, we discussed about the query window, how you develop the query window. I just change the layout a bit. So you can see now here the layout is little different. I just lifted the buttons bit bit top uh, towards that and let's open the query window. The query window, nothing ch much change in that, but only thing is now you can see this query window has a width has increased, height has increased, and some buttons we have added. These buttons will give you some sample code. Suppose you want show table or select query, update query, drop query. It just gives you and finally the submit button to execute the query. The purpose here is we'll learn some SQL commands. So these are very basic commands and our connector. Now you can say that uh, you can learn it with uh, PHP MyAdmin or MySQL Workbench. These are all useful tools. We frequently use it. But here it is. It is our own connector. So we'll run this query and see the result. Whatever is we see, see will the result will come here. So let me now the all the three tables are shown. Let me just type a select query. I will just instead of typing all, I will click this select star from table name. So moment I click this, it just pass some text and post it here. So I am giving student. Student is my table name. So I am not giving right now any where condition here. So student and submit. So here you can see all my records, 35 records for the for your just information. This is the ID. The first column is ID next the name, then which class the student is, how much mark got and the gender. So these are the four columns. We keep it in our student table. So that's what we are displaying it here. Now say I want to, okay, fine. Student table is displayed. Let's show me the tables. So I will just click this second one, this show table. So the query has changed. There is nothing to change. I'll just submit this. Now I am back with my showing my all the tables in my database. Let's learn some our uh, where condition select star from table name. Okay, uh, we have already discussed if there is a error also the way it is displayed. Let's just create some error. See here, no such table as table name because there is no table name as such. Okay, so we'll start student where class. Class is the one column name. Class is four. So because it's a string, I have put it inside the code. So let's submit it. So now I am getting only the class four students. Here it is. So fine. Now let's say where uh, let's get all the students who scored more than 80 marks. So where mark is greater than or equal to 80. Let's see who are all. Yeah, fine. You can see all the students in the mark 80. So that's that is uh, wire condition. Now let's uh, do one more thing. Display the top five students based on the mark. So now we'll say order by order by this is a uh, order by mark. Now what happens? This will display all the students. It will display in the order of the mark, but it will start from the lowest mark. You can see here 18, 54. It keeps on increasing. No, I want the highest mark holder should be at the top. So I will just give it a order by mark D E S C descending order. So descending order means by default it is ascending A S C. So now descending means 96. Now you can see here the highest score is got it here. Now let me just print. Uh, that show me only the first one, the first two rank holders or one, two, three, three rank holders. Order by mark DESC limit starting from zero, three. So remember this uh, first is 96, 94, 90. Okay, let's see. So this is showing me only three records. Start from the first record, show me three records. This meaning is, so this limit command will do. Now say there is a, a question that, show me the second rank holder. Okay, so for that, I will start from one 
and so one record let's see what it comes or i have to yeah so this is the second rank holder now you can easily get it who is the fifth rank holder sixth rank this is this is the starting point and this is the number of records so you can easily get it now let's just uh, change a little bit we will not go for order by uh, where mark between okay this is a sql so we'll between uh, 40 and 60 note that this 40 and 60 both are included so somebody got 40 it will be there and 60 so let's see how many have got, are in between this yeah you can see here all the mark column you can see it is between 40 and 60 now there are many such combinations you can try so where mark i'll just give you let's uh, use some id column also id is greater than 30 so id column is at the left most this is not under mark so there are 35 so i'll get only greater than 30 means 31 32 33 35 up to that only i should get yeah 31 32 33 34 35 so these five records because i have given the condition like that so this you can use it for uh, executing various query and anytime you get develop any error is there anyway that error message will be printed now that's uh, there are many more combinations of select queries are there limit order by then okay joining right now we are not trying because we can also because this is a query window any sort of query you can try even you can drop the table delete the table everything now let's move towards some other query let's try some update query so i'll click the update button update student student is my table name column is let's add ma sorry mark five marks to all the students five mark okay let's add because it's already displayed so equal to mark plus five marks to these top uh, 31 32 30 these students only uh, to mark plus five where id is greater than 30 so you can easily note that this uh, student whatever is here their marks are 88 90 96 this is numbers now this will be added by so update student set mark is mark plus by where id is greater than 30 so these students only mark will increase so let's change it so rows affected is 5 now let me just select select star from student fine let's execute here it is so you can see here their marks at the end has increased so you can do all other update uh, update queries you can run it also now let's do one more thing we'll drop the table we'll remove the student, uh, student table and install it again so for that let's write a drop student query drop table student so I am removing, I am dropping. See, there is if I want to remove all the record, then I have to use truncate. So now I am using uh, drop table student. Totally, I will delete this table. Fine. So rows affected minus one. Now I will see so tables. Let's see what are the. So you can see here, student table is not there. Now let's to install again because we have to write a query. It's a bit lengthy. So uh, what I will advise you is just uh, there is a URL where the queries are already there. We will copy that visit this url it is there in your description the link is there this is the url here scroll down now you can use these codes also but this with python means insert all this python code included in that to create the tables that's what we don't want we want only the query part so here you can come down a bit and here sql part only to create table and insert record now let's there are two are there first one is to create the table second one is to add the records once the table is created so let's copy this we are here again let me just paste the code whatever i have copied this just create table if not exist student id all these things now here there is a little difference in mysql or and the sqlite because there is no auto increment here in uh, SQLite because once it knows that something is integer and a primary query, it automatically makes it SQLite makes it auto increment. Okay, let's first execute this query. Okay, now let me show tables. Select name. Okay, now execute it. Here you can see the student table is already there. So, but these are without records. Now let's just 
check that select star from student okay submit no record is there i have just copied the insert record part in the same from the same url below that we have seen that text area so i am just pasting it so these are insert into student all the things are there here you can see up to the end 35 records now let me submit this so here you can see rows affected 35 now let's check this also so let's say go to select query select from student student this is also not a problem let's see you can see all my records are back so this way you can create the student table and experiment with your uh, uh, queries and uh, practice it because this uh, query knowledge is very important even if you work in the pandas or all also this particular knowledge will help you a lot so even if you work on the python data frames and all still it is useful so you can experiment with update queries select query show table many of the all these are there so i think in a day or two this code will be available so you can download it install run it in your uh, in your python environment and create this uh, uh, connector so actually this query is remain same even if it you use it in your mysql or oracle anything where the query remains slight change will be there some vendors they keep their own style fine so that's all friends so i thought this connector how the connectors can be used that's uh, uh, explain this there is not much coding here involved only the placing of the buttons and the layout if you are facing any difficulty let me know in the comment section below so we'll explain you the code because already in the part two we have discussed about how the query window query is executed it is the same thing only there is nothing and one more thing is i am not closing the query window i have just commented one line where the, the destroy function is there so child window is remains open that's the only difference and some layout changes thank you friends and uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and tell to your friends share with your friends and ask them also to subscribe shortly we are going to towards the inventory management all those uh, important applications we will try to develop it so request you please subscribe and watch our what are the tutorials we are developing and suggest in your comment section your ideas your difficulties your errors whatever you are getting so that will help us to further improve it thank you for watching and once again please subscribe to our channel